Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines in the City of Night's Helm. This is Curl's Paladin and we are just chugging along here. Our current objective is to unlock every building in the game of which we only have three more to unlock. That would be the Hadron Collider, the Doomsday Vault, and uh, the Ultimate Recycling Center. Now I had to uh, build up the cash to do so because they are quite expensive, as you may imagine. So uh, we've had to go a couple of episodes where I kept saying, we're going to do that, we're going to do that. But uh, I think the Hadron Collider alone was something like $2 million or sims. So, uh, our simoleons. Um, so it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a little while before I can actually build that thing. Uh, oh, that one's only 800,000. Um, the ultimate recycling plant. What? Oop, it would help if I spelled recycling properly. Let's go ahead and ultimate recycling plant. There we go. That one is. Uh, there it is, 750, and then finally there was, uh, uh, the Doomsday Vault, which, that might have been the 2 million one, 1. 1.6 million, so I got, and all the requisite buildings to get those built, so it's going to be a while before I can do that. I've also been trying to figure out what to do with this oddity here. And I think I know what I'm going to do. I am going to try and put down another thing in the water. This is something that I usually have in a lot of my uh, uh, cities. And maybe it'll take care of this issue. I don't know. So we have this one. Um, now the thing about this, unfortunately I had to pause the game, um, it does require road access, I mean I could just put it right up against the, the, um, the key here. Um, it's 150,000, and I just said I'm trying to save money, right? <laughs> um, it's, this building is getting in the way here. So, uh, let's just go ahead. I can always anarchy to wherever I need it. Boom. Now, um, if I do move it, select that, and then make it the same height as this. It does require, as you can see, it is complaining about road access, but I can probably fix that by turning it ever so slightly and then moving it a little bit closer to the road. Um, sometimes it does just figure out when it's that close to the road that it has what it needs. Let's see. First I'm interested, did it do anything? Well, it didn't get the road access at once. Hmm. Actually, if I am going to leave it there, I should probably put down here a crossing for people to get to it. Yep, okay, it has road access. Now I still can't figure out what's going on around it. Um, I could risk, whoops, doing a little bit of raising of terrain and then leveling terrain and see if that makes the water fill in. It did. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There are times where it's it's actually just me. I click inconsistently 
with my mouse. I thought I had selected the level terrain tool. Obviously, I did not. Okay. Um, I hope that's not going to flood my city. Although, with the way that the water has gone way down recently. Up. And then we'll just level that out. We'll go ahead and level out underneath it. Okay. Um, and we'll see what happens if that uh, floods my city or not. I don't think it will. It doesn't look like it's going to. But hopefully that will have taken care of it. I really, I love that. I really do. I was, I've always been a fan of the seven ancient wonders of the world. Uh, I think I have the pyramids in here somewhere. I just never built them. And uh, it would be great to see the other five at some point. But I take what I can get. All right, we're up to 460,000 sims. It doesn't look like we're going to cause any flooding. That looks pretty good. Um, I think I know what might partially be causing my issue with the water. It might be because I'm sucking so much water out um, that I may have to move these downstream. So I may end up moving all of my water stuff down to here. Uh, so I'm actually losing money, but it's probably temporary. At least I hope it is. So while that's doing its thing, while I'm building up money, I should say, I am going to move my sewage to um, down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Well, it says soap, slope too steep. Soap too steep? Okay. And then... What I would like to do... Let's go ahead and do a marquee. We only want to select the nodes. <laughs> we have marquee selected, so let's go ahead and... We'll select all of those. We'll set them all to the same height as that. And then this one will tail down. So it goes more or less in to the water. And then let's go back to our leveling tool. And we'll go ahead and just level that out. Okay, so this is where all my sewage is going to drain out into. So next, we got to get some power down here. Uh, that's not too difficult. Got to get power, and we got to get pipes down there. So power... I'm actually going to draw from way over here. I know I would probably normally, or you would normally uh, cut through, but I want to... Oh, I've got the monorail there, so let's do this. Bulldoze that. Come to here, go up. Over. And then back down. And let's just make our way lazily out that way. There, that should do that. Okay. Then we need to get water or some sort of form of pipes out there because, of course, um, how else is the sewage going to get to it? So let's just go ahead and we'll... Um, okay, I just want it to be straight though, and I can't seem to do that. Alright, good enough. And then finally, let's just go ahead and grab all these and move them. I am going to pause while I do this though. I'm going to pay to move them, which is... Yeah, it's cost 3000 a piece. Not too bad. So 
three, one. This is gonna take a while. Uh, come on, come on, two. It also allows me to develop that area instead of having all those unsightly pump or unsightly uh, discharge. You know what I mean? Outlets. Gosh, I, did I make this canal long enough? I didn't realize I had this many of these. One, two, three, four, five. How many do I have left here? Four. So let's start going on the other side. Up. Oh. And my helpful cat. She aspires to be a city planner. She'd probably be better than me. All right, so I'm. my plan here is I want to move the water pumps downstream, and I'm hoping uh, that will possibly help with some of the water levels. Because when you do start sucking a lot of water like I am right now, as you can see, 1.24 million cubic meters weekly, that can have an impact on the water level. Okay. Excellent. We've moved all those. Let's go ahead and hook them all up now. We have those hooked up. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around the canal. And just one, two, three, four. And then we got to get that power connected. Actually, it looks like I need one more anyhow, because I'm getting close. So let's go ahead, we'll put one more down right Come on, there. And then we'll take this, and we'll run it to right there, and that will take care of that. Excellent! So now, that takes care of the sewage. Next, uh... We're up to 27,000, so that's good. Our cash is up, is coming in again. Uh, now i got to move all these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of these. So I would like to move these, obviously not near that. I think right, right here would be a good spot for them. So let's go back to our water structures, select the key. And we'll just, uh, we need the sinew, or sine wave, whatever, sinuous, curvy one. Okay. And then actually I would like to, same thing here. There we go. All right, and now I'm going to pause yet again. This will take a little longer because there's a lot more of them to move. One. Two. Did I get it? It's auto save. There we go. Okay. Oh, already halfway through the episode and haven't really done much, have I? I should have done this between episodes now that I think about it. But I don't want to do a lot between episodes because I don't want you to think, hey, wait a minute, what did he do when. When he wasn't watching, what else did he do that we, he didn't tell us about? So, uh, 
Okay, and just halfway there. I probably could have did this a lot faster if I had used Move It and just selected like all 12 of them at once. But then I would still have to sort them out at this end. Come on. There we go. Okay, four more. Three more. Two more. They need to have a better water source structure in the vanilla game. There are some mods out there that you can put in that draw more water, um, but some of them are a bit unrealistic. You know, you get like, it supplies all your city with water and it costs a thousand a week to run, which just doesn't seem right. Okay, so we have them all lined up there in a row, like our we got our ducks in a row there. Connect them all via pipe. And now get that pipe connected to our city. Just connect right across to there. Okay. And finally, way to get power out there. I'm going to do something. I'm going to try to sort of follow the railroad track. Like old telegraph lines. And right into that train station. Okay. All right. Let's make certain our water is not going to suffer for that. Looks like we're doing well. Looks like I even need another water pump. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll drop another one down right there. Connect it. Okay. All right. 442. All right, let's start looking at... Um, They're complaining about water. I think it's just a matter of it's got to sort itself out. Right? What's going on? Oh! Oh, that's not good. Alright. We need to, uh... Obviously, I need to move that upstream a little bit, so, or I should lower this a little bit. Um, let's move the brush size just a little bit bigger here. Now, I don't know what that's going to do to the cruise ships. Because um, cruise ships don't can't really travel over um, you know a rapid, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna move it upstream. So level all that out down there. Okay, and then we'll use a smoothing tool. Spread that out a little bit. Kind of like 
Little gentle steps down. Let's take that brush and make it a little bit smaller because I think that caused some issues. And then just smooth it out. Okay, that should do it. Yep, looks like my ship path is still valid. So the water should eventually fill back in there, so we're going to have some issues with water for a while in the city. Until this sorts itself out. Yeah, see how much water it's sucking? It's even sucking water from this side. All right, I think that will sort itself out. All right, excellent. All right, so now I was gonna start building one of the new uh, new ones. So the question is, which one of these three do I want to do? I can. Well, I really can't afford that one yet. That's gonna take a while. The ultimate recycling plant. Let's go for that one. Now I don't think it shows me in the monuments. I don't think that one shows up, does it? Oh, it does. Ultimate recycling plant. Okay. So I have the ziggurat built of all of them. All right. So we need the Burden Bee Haven, the Climate Research Station, Lungs of the City, Floating Gardens, and the Central Park. All right. Let's start with Floating Gardens. Mm -mm -mm. That costs 70000 Okay. So this requires road axe. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I found a spot for it. Yeah, this will work perfectly right here. Boom. And I just need to get a trail to it. Uh, park, park, park. Just need to extend this out to it. There. Still doesn't like it. Oh. Make it at the same height as. Come on. Control H, the same height as that. There we go. Alright. And it's still complaining. Alright, let's do this. How much does it cost to move? Fourteen thousand to relocate it. Okay, but nope, it still doesn't like it. No road at all, it requires road access. Uh Alright, let's Let's find a spot for it. And that oddity is still going on. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I could... You know what I could possibly do? If I relocated this just a little bit over, like to right here... And then... End this road. Uh, I lost.
lost it. There it is. Actually, we'll move it all the way to right here. There! Now it's happy! Except for not having any power. <laughs> Alright. We'll get power to you. Hang on. Um, I'm going to use the underground, underwater one. Just because I don't want unsightly power lines out there. Okay, and it's probably going to want water. Nope, it has that. Okay. Alright, that's one of them. I think that's kind of nice right there at that branch. A nice little garden there. You can hang out and get seasick. That thing's bobbing around a lot. Alright, uh, so what was the next thing we need? We needed the Bird and Bead Haven and... What else? Uh, research Station. Alright, let's look at that. So, Climate Research Station. <laughs> 45,000. So what does this thing look like? So I think this would be a good thing way out here. So that they can predict the weather for the shuttle launches, or the rocket launches. So we'll move it, and we'll put it... I know it's not a very good tourist location. Actually, we'll put it a little bit closer to the freeway entrance. How's that? Right there. Okay. It has power. It has some water. There. Alright. Let's see. Lungs of the City, Central Park, and Bird and Bee Haven. So... The, the Central Park, I know, and the lungs of the city are huge. I remember these things. But I think lungs of the city would be a good thing to replace what, what industrial there was here. How much does this thing cost? 55000 Oh, and it's not... Oh, let's actually select it. There we go. Okay, this is nowhere near as big as I thought it was. I thought it was a lot bigger. So, we'll just go ahead and we'll put it down over here. It's a nice, it'll help improve the land value over here. And give people over here leisure. Boom. Okay, I'm spending so much money that I'm not going to be able to afford. Now, Central Park, I know, is huge. I mean, I think it even has a road through it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 200,000. Yikes. And, yeah, that is really darn big. Oh, but... If... Oh, look at that. I could fit that right there. I could do this. I mean, it would fit with the park theme. It, I really want it in a downtown type area. It won't fit there. Yeah, I'm going to do it. What the heck? I don't know what I'm going to do with that little road stub that sticks out, but... Let's see... Can I bulldoze that road? Can I do a touch it? Yes, I can. Which means I can now delete it! Ha ha ha! So... I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to touch the entire thing. Come on. Touch that, touch that. Because I want to change it to a nicer road. I want to pick the tree-lined road. 
that. Boom. And then we're just going to do straight. Space already occupied. I'm not sure what is it. It might be... Oh, it's the... Duh. I know what it is. Okay, so what we'll do... Um, yeah, this is not going to work out the way I wanted it to, is it? Okay, let me get rid of this crosswalk. Oh. I, it's a change of road. Okay. Then let's do this. Wrong road. I thought I had this selected. Okay. There we go. Now that it's the same road, will it allow me to connect? Yep. Okay. And then... Just... To help, we can bring this up just a little bit. What happens? I'm curious. I'll probably break the game here. Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Yikes. That is quite impressive looking. Alright. Um. Wow. Alright. If I make it the same height though. There we go. Okay. That's okay. All right. So we have that in there. Now, that sucked a lot of money, so I'm going to have to wait for a little while. While I'm waiting, let's check my water, make certain. Yep, we're back on track. Let's just go over here and take a look at this. Yep, this is okay. Actually, that looks a lot better. Before, there was actually a visible dip, but now it doesn't. You don't. I don't even really see it, so that's good. And my ship line is still there. Excellent. Okay. So I also had the Bird and Bee Haven, and what was the other thing? There was one more thing. Nope, just the Bird and Bee Haven. All right, well, let's take a look at that. Bird and Bee Haven. Uh, the birds and the bees. Oh, this thing's tiny. Tiny. Actually, maybe it would be good over here. On Bablo Island. to fill up some of this over here. So yeah, I'm going to put it over here. And guess what? <laughs> okay. There it is. No. Somewhere is that... Uh, there it is. Boom. Delete that. Yes. Come back to this. Bird and bee even, because this will carry the power across. There. Okay. All right, so now I just have to save up the cash, but if I go to my monuments, yep, so the ultimate recycling plant is unlocked. So I just have to save up one point, uh, three point one million, three point two million. Okay, well, I guess that's what this episode was, is unfortunately just getting prepared for those two things. Um, folks, uh, you know, I keep saying I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and I seem to keep reneging on that pro uh, promise. Um, but we got a lot of good monuments in here and a lot of good parks in. I think they worked out really well. Um, so, next episode we're going to get something in. One of those in there. Either the, the Hadron Collider or the Ultimate Recycling Plant. We just had to save up the cash to do so. So I will go ahead and end the episode here. Everybody, you take care, and I will see you all in the next episode of City Skylines Knight's Helm. Everybody, take care and bye.